This is Malcolm341. In this video, we're going to look at how to replace the Maya start screen with our own custom logo. Using your own logo can be inspirational, and the default Maya logo is super boring, so let's get into it. So the logo that I'm talking about is the main logo that comes up when you start Maya. So I'm just going to go to my programs here, and I'm actually going to open Maya 2017 because I've already replaced the logo here in 2019. So click this guy to start and wait for it to load. And then you get this really ugly, boring kind of corporate logo that is just uh, really demotivating and kind of hideous. So you can actually replace that logo with whatever image that you want. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So now let's just close Maya down. OK, now that Maya is closed, all you need to do is just go into this folder. So you're looking for C, Program, Files, Autodesk, Maya, whatever version of Maya. So I'm Maya 2017, but you can do 2018, 2019, works with LT, works with all versions of Maya. So you want to go Maya 2017 and then slash icons. And then once you're in that folder, what you want to do is come over here and go to search and you want to type Maya with a capital M. So Maya. And then you can just search for Maya capital startup and just press enter and it will filter everything out and you'll see these three images. And out of those three images, you want to ignore the 150 and the 200. Maybe that's for when you scale the interface or something, but I don't do that. So the image that you want to do is just get the Maya startup image dot PNG. And you want to copy that to the desktop. So I'm just going to hit control C, copy that. And I'm going to come over here. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go paste. And sure, whatever, I already have one on there. So paste that guy there. And the reason that you need to actually paste it instead of just like dragging this directly into Photoshop and editing it is because there's like a Windows rights management or whatever. There's a security feature that actually won't let you save this file. But if you copy it to the desktop, edit it in your image application of choice, and then copy it back, it will then ask you, oh, do you want to overwrite the image instead of just saying, no, it's locked out, you can't do it. So make sure you copy it to the desktop before you edit it. So now I'm just going to grab that image and I'll just drag and drop it into Photoshop. Drop it in here. OK, so there you go. You can see there's the super corporate, super boring logo that we saw during startup. And then just for demonstration purposes, I'll just add some text. So whatever your cool logo here, I'm just going to flatten that by pressing Control E on the keyboard, flatten the layer. And then I'm going to press Control S or you can go file save, whatever you want to do. So we'll just go up here and save. And it's saving. OK, cool. So it's all saved. So I'm going to close that. And I'm going to close Photoshop down. OK, and to copy it back into this folder, I need to get rid of the search results or else it won't work. So I'm just going to come here and get rid of this search just so it goes to the default folder. And then I'm just going to drag and drop this in here. So move to icons. Yes. And so now it's going to say, do you want to replace? And we are going to say yes. And then see, now you're going to have to provide administrator permissions, which is why we needed to copy it to the desktop. So just say, OK, that's fine. And it's just going to overwrite that. And you can see right here, we've got our uh, new logo right there. OK, and I'm just going to minimize this window. And then I'm going to go back into my programs. And I'm going to launch Maya 2017. Wait for it to load. And boom, there you go. So your own custom logo. So you can replace that logo with whatever imagery or text that you want. You can see there's Maya loading it on the side there. And boom, there we are. And Maya's all loaded up. So pretty cool. So if you wanted to do this for Maya 2019, for example, all you have to do is come in here and just change this from 2017 to 2019. And it's the same thing. And then you search for capital M Maya capital S startup. And you can see there's my custom logo right there, actually. So if we can uh, bring this guy in here, you can see this is what I used to start up my logo. I wanted to kind of keep it like the Maya default thing so you could tell it was Maya, but I wanted to add my like uh, uh, YouTube channel design to it or whatever, my little logo and stuff like that. It just feels a lot better when you start up Maya to see something custom or interesting or just something inspiring other than their kind of boring logo. And then if you guys wanted to do a similar thing where you actually take the default logo and modify it to your taste, I've actually got a PSD that I created. So you can see I've got kind of some different layers doing the different effects that I have to create my logo. So I'll make this available. I'll put a link in the description and then you can just download this PSD if you want and go through the layers. That might save you some time having to like mask out all the different layers and see what's going on there. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Without viewers like you, this channel would not exist. If you like this video and enjoy the channel, please support me by purchasing something from the online store. Each purchase goes towards creating more video content and keeps the channel ad-free. See you next time. Have a great day.